Another exciting day in the life of Polk County. It was a path of destruction in Lakeland after the driver of a Jeep loses control. News Channel East Justin Shecker is live in Lakeland tonight. Justin, I know you had a chance to speak exclusively with a homeowner, and, and even I can tell remind you, he has a real mess to clean up here. Yeah, that's absolutely right, Keith. And before reaching this backyard, that Jeep actually took down some mailboxes across the street. Over to my right, some of the worst damage you can see. That out of control Jeep plowed right through this shed. Walk with me this way. Amazingly, the Jeep missed hitting any of these trees, but it took down part of this pool cage before finally slamming into this home. Michael George takes down the tarpon fence, covering the hole in the back of his North Lakeland home of 22 years. Me and my wife were sitting in the living room watching TV, and all of a sudden we heard boom. Out back, he tells eight on your side, he found the driver of this white Jeep with her foot still on the gas. It's amazing she didn't end up in the pool. But the Jeep crushed his shed before crashing into the house. It's just amazing how she missed that stuff, because if she'd have hit that or one of them Queen Palms, it'd probably been a different story for her. George says a Polk County Sheriff's deputy arrived seconds later. And he said then when she came around that corner and lost control and hit the fence down there, she really accelerated and took off. George says the deputy told him the Jeep went airborne at least once. You can see where the Jeep landed based on these tire marks still in the lawn. And somehow the Jeep was able to squeeze between these two trees. She threaded the needle, and it's more like more like arena football goal post. You know, it's really narrow. Going through what's left of his shed. I was looking for this last night. George found a family memento from his father. A retired Army, like I am. But he was in the Korean War, and that's his book that he brought from the war. While the driver was taken to the hospital, neither George nor his wife got hurt. That's the most important thing. Yeah, the house can be fixed. And the sheriff's office knows who was behind the wheel of that Jeep. She spoke briefly with deputies at the hospital, and so far, no charges have been filed. We're live in Lakeland. I'm Justin Shecker, 8 on your side.